Hey guys, welcome back to the Jones Zone. Uh, this one's going to be two things from the Apocrypha that contradict the Bible. The first one is the discovery of metalworking. In the first book of Enoch, it is mentioned that angels taught men how to craft weapons, which is something that contradicts what is written in the original works of the Bible. Let's uh, take a look at chapter 8, verse 1, where it reads, And Azazel taught men to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates, and made known to them the metals of the earth and the craft of working them, and bracelets and ornaments and the use of antimony and the beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones and all coloring tinctures. The book of Genesis clearly states who knew how to work metal. Uh, when we look at Genesis chapter 4 verse 22 it reads, And Zillah, she also bore Tubalcane, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron, and the sister of Tubalcane was Nama. Okay, so it says right here that Tubal Cain was an instructor of every artificer, and this implies that his skills surpassed those whom he instructed, so he would be a master of the crafting of brass and iron or metalworking. There's nothing here about fallen angels teaching him anything. So, I mean, that's up to you if you want to continue to believe something like that. It's, it's not scripture. Okay, next is the sons of God and the daughters of men. There's nothing in the Bible that explicitly states that fallen angels or impregnating people. In the first book of Enoch, chapter 6, it reads, And it came to pass, when the children of men had multiplied, that in those days were born to them beautiful and attractive daughters. And the messengers, the children of the heavens, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose wives for ourselves from among the children of men, and beget children for ourselves. But in Genesis chapter 6, it reads, Now it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves of all whom they chose. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Now, the common misconception is that the sons of God are the fallen angels or something like that. But that isn't necessarily the case. Because in Hebrews... Chapter 1, uh, verse 5, it is written, For to which of the angels did he ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Which implies that the Son of God is Jesus, but his followers are also the sons of God too. Which we see in Luke, chapter 20, verse 36, where it reads, Nor can they, men, die anymore, for they are equal to the angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. So there you have it. Humans are also referred to as the sons of God. And so when we look at Genesis contextually, we see that the sons of God refer to men who have a relationship with God rather than angels. Hey guys, I have with me here the complete 54 book Apocrypha. This is the 2022 edition. And is it is a... Uh, a pseudopigrapha, which means that um, this is a collection of works that is not inspired by any of the original authors that uh, wrote the manuscripts that would uh, be translated into the Holy Bible, uh, which would be your King James, or your New King James, or your NIV, okay? So... It's very important that if you are a pastor or somebody who's teaching that you do not teach anything that comes out of here because there are uh, some very serious consequences that are outlined uh, here in the Holy Bible. Okay, now hear this. This is uh, Revelations chapter 22, verse 18, where it says, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. All right, so if you go to a church somewhere and somebody's like, oh, uh, the angels, you know, um, they taught men how to make metals or something like that. Or... Enoch, uh, Enoch, he was, um, you know, petitioning to the angels or something before the flood. If they say something like that, then they're teaching you a false doctrine out of the Apocrypha. All right, so you probably 
get out of that church and run as far and away from there as you can and never come back there. Okay? So, I hope this helps. And um, you guys stay blessed.